Hi, it's me again. And do you know what? I bet the BBC thought this this subject would have been dead and buried a long time ago, but it's not. It's still going on. The free TV license for the over 75s is a fight that hasn't died off. It's been years now. I've been talking about it for years, but there's one person that's been talking about it even more than me. Let's have a look. We urge the BBC to amend its prosecuting progress, says Dennis Reed of Silver Voices. Friend of the channel, and uh, I'm going to interview him one day. We have we have a couple of emails gone backwards and forwards between each other. But there's a bit here that's bored my piss a little bit. Look, just like the sub-postmasters and mistresses, Silver Voices have been battling almost alone for years against the prosecution process of another unaccountable monolith, the BBC. Battling almost alone for years? I, I mean, I, I, I don't like to talk myself up at all. I'm not a big-headed person. I would say I've been battling probably a bit more than Silver Voice, but the media won't talk to me. They are not interested in talking to me at all. But to be fair to Dennis Reed, he has done a lot in this fight. He even got booked in to talk directly to Tim Davey. It was, it was last year or the year before about the situation and then Tim Davey bailed on him at the last minute and sent one of his lackeys which I thought was a bit of an insult you booked in do it mate all right yeah I don't know let's have a look see what he's got to say oh and also talking about the comparison between license fee problems and the problems with the post office don't forget that I'm trying to help out tv license resistance people in finding some people that have had some bad experiences with tv licensing if that's you you can pop over to the forum, there's a link below, and you can talk directly with them on there, or you can email them at this email address, tvlvictims at tvlicensestop.co.uk. The emails don't come to me, even though it's TV License Stop. They don't come to me. I won't read them out on here or anything. You can keep your anonymity if you want. They just want to talk to you because they're working on an investigation, which if it goes well, it could, it could be quite a powerful thing. Anyway. Ever since the shocking and abrupt scrapping of free TV licenses for the over 75s in August 2020, it's a while ago now, wasn't it? We have come up against a heartless executive bureaucracy which is unbending in pursuit of its interests. Its interests being money and the BBC they're talking about, obviously. We tried many times in face to face meetings with senior BBC executives to negotiate compromises for those older people who are struggling to pay their license fees, such as exemptions for those with dementia. Good luck with that. All they did, all the BBC did about that, is give their goons a half-hour training DVD viewing session so that they can help people with dementia stay correctly licensed if they happen to knock on the door of somebody that vulnerable. So that's good. They can be trusted as well because they, they the, the, the commission that they earn doesn't affect their judgment at all, especially with vulnerable people. So that's probably fine, right? Then, at the start of the cost of living crisis, in liaison with the legal charity appeal, we urge the BBC to amend its prosecution process to take account of the struggles of low-income households in paying the licence fee. Again, we met the Davy brick wall, and unlike many other public bodies, no concessions were made by the BBC, despite the energy crisis and raging food inflation. You cannot win against the BBC when it comes to money. They won't let their money go. They, they are holding on to this 3.7 billion quid, and there's going to be more this year, of licence fee money for dear life, for dear life, aren't they? They won't make any concessions at all all they have said is that they're not going to target vulnerable people or the elderly they want you to buy a license but there's not going to be any court case anything like that they said that a long time ago it's going to happen and look at the amount of coverage we're getting on tv license cases in the courts at the minute with vulnerable people you just wait till they start taking people's poorly nans in and then you'll see some public backlash against our treasured national broadcaster. Surely it should not be the highly paid bureaucrats who decide whether it is in the public interest to bring a prosecution, but an independent body. I hope that a post office saga will prick the consciousness of BBC executives. It won't. However, we know they are very adept at shifting responsibility to other parts of the bureaucracy and still sleep well in their beds. I like, I like Dennis Reed. He speaks quite well. Doesn't he? And he gets, he gets, it doesn't matter what he says, 
they can put out a little press release on Silver Voice's website and he'll get the Express and a couple of other papers calling him for comment. And any time they've got something about OAPs and a TV licence, he's the first person they call. And he's a fair shout for a spokesperson on it. But it did annoy me a bit when it says Silver Voices have been battling almost alone for years. It's not just me either. There's loads of us in this fight. How many websites are there? I'm I'm a member of quite a few Facebook groups as well. They're all in the fight. And many of them a lot bigger than I am. And Dennis Reed hasn't got as much skin in the game. So I think that's a bit of an insult. But I like Dennis Reed, And he's a good spokesperson for the over 75s. So I'm not having too much of a dig. I'm having a dig at the papers for not reaching out to other people for comment. Why don't they always reach out to... What's her name? That bird from defund the BBC, but give us all your money to do it. I forget her name now. What has she done in this fight to get on talk TV and everything all the time? I don't know. What do you think about this? Anyway, he did have a meeting. He's had a couple of meetings at the BBC, this Dennis Reid. And he, I say he did have one booked in with Tim Davey, and Tim Davey let him down. Now, I filed an FOI request ages ago to find out why he was let down. I wanted to know what his schedule was for that day. And uh, pretty standard for me and the BBC. They didn't respond with the information to my FOI. I, I knew that was going to happen anyway. Let me know your thoughts on all this down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. And while you're down there, leaving your comment, hit all the buttons and everything as well. So if you do that, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.